Hey everyone, today we're gonna to show you how to change your Zoom video filters as well as effects within the Zoom settings in Zoom. It'll change what your video feed looks like for your next meeting, it's really easy to do. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken, this is Northern Biking Every Day, and we bring you videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right over to Zoom and show you exactly how to change your Zoom filters and effects. All right, so here we are on my computer. I'm gonna go ahead and load up Zoom. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new meeting so you can see what's going on here. It's gonna load up a new meeting for me. I'll join with computer audio, etc. So basically we're in our meeting here. You might have a whole bunch of people or just yourself, and you could do this by yourself just to play around with the settings before you join a meeting. Now in the bottom left-hand corner here, you're gonna see where it says stop video. I've got my video footage playing. If I wanted to turn off my camera, I could just click that or click it again to turn it on. I'm gonna leave it on so you can see exactly what's going on here. But right next to that, there's a little up arrow and we're just gonna go ahead and left click on that and a little menu is gonna pop up. This is where you would select your camera you're using. So maybe you have a webcam in here. I'm using this one, the CamLink 4K with my Canon camera. But down below that, you should see a few different options. Choose virtual background or choose video filter. Choose video filter is the one we're looking for today. So you could go ahead and select that. If you're not seeing that there, you could click on this video settings button down below. So we'll click on it there. And you could go down to this option here that says backgrounds and filters. You could select that. And there's an option right here that says video filters, go ahead and select video filters. And it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of different filters for you. And I'm gonna move this off to the side so you can see what's happening to my face here while I do this. So we've got that loaded up. Now you can go ahead and start selecting filters. So there's a whole bunch of different tones. If you wanna change the tone or the, the color grading of your video feed, you can easily do that there. A sepia if you want kind of an old fashioned look. Um, you can turn it off right here. So you can always go back and turn off your filters, but there's all sorts of cool stuff. So if you want some Christmas lights, if it's the holiday season, if you want to be in a small TV, you can do that. There's bigger frames. So if you want happy faces, I know I showed you that one earlier at the beginning of the video, all sorts of cool different filters you can add, TVs, all sorts of stuff. Going down, you can start to add filters to yourself. So if you wanna add glasses, you can easily do that. Make yourself look really cool there. You can add a little hat on your head, just like that. You can also add that first prize winner right there in the corner. So there's tons of cool ones you can add, more facial ones, you can have lots of fun with those. If you really wanna add a mask to yourself, um, you can do that there as well. So there's a whole ton of them. I'll let you play through them. Some really cool ones if you want a bird there in the corner and maybe you're graduating, you can put that in there as well. Or maybe you don't want anyone to know who you are, you can hide that way. Now, there's also something called effects, and now for myself, it's right here, it says studio effects, and this is actually in beta, so not all of you might have these effects. So if you go ahead and click on that, it's gonna open up a new little window. Let me move over here so you can see a little bit better, and I'll turn off the, the, uh, incognito look there that I've got going on. All right, we've got that turned off, but this will allow you also to add different things like eyebrows. So if I click on this, I can add thicker eyebrows and turn them up and make them really thick. You can add um, mustaches and beards here. Now I've already got kind of a beard thing going on, but if I click that, I could actually um, make it thicker right there, just like that, or you could change the color of it to whatever you like. You can also add lip colors as well. So maybe you want bright red lips and you can change the opacity of this as well. So if I want really bright lips, I could do that. I can turn that off. You can also select custom color lips. So maybe I want green lips. Let's apply that. And now I have green lips in my video feed. So there's all sorts of video filters and effects that you can add to your feed. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, there is a button here at the top that says apply to all future meetings. If you have that turned on, um, just be careful if you don't want this on in your meeting, you might wanna make sure that's unchecked so you don't automatically go into a meeting with green lips or with some sunglasses on just like that. So it's really quite that easy to add video filters and effects to your Zoom meetings here in Zoom. So I hope this tutorial helped you out in adding Zoom filters and effects to your Zoom video feed. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested, I have created a full tutorial on how to add Zoom backgrounds 
You'll find that link below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to connect with me on social media and until next time, take care.